Alright everyone, here's an update on this is my generation. All of the eggs have hatched. Um the stuff from GreatLakesWarmers.com came in. Um I got the empty cup right here. This is their this is their generation. But I got another cup with um with um chow in it. I so it's in the refrigerator right now, keeping cool so um so then it would be ready to put these guys in. See that they have munched up this p potato and they're about like two days old now. And here's some that I've that have already grown. You can see more you can see that I'm covered in the pool right now, so they're really feeding like little balls. See so there's one, there's some that are smaller than the other. And there's some that have grown. So I use this little pin. Like, don't ever touch these little guys with your fingers. Use the little pin to um, move them a little bit. But very, very carefully. Make sure you don't squish them or anything. They're very, very delicate. For about 10 days, it's gonna be like this. Do they grow up a little more? You gotta be very, very careful too not to um, have any of them escape because you know they're, they can climb. So, leave these alone. <laughs> if you just leave them alone, and they will be fine with the potato and. They will just feed, feed, and feed. That's all they will do. <laughs> well, the last 12 cup, cup I had that I got from um, Pet Paradise, um, all the all the moths had laid. All those moths had laid, and that's what their generation, their offspring, is right in here. But then also then those moths don't live very long. They got such short little lives. <laughs> They got such little, little lives, like, they live up to, like, maybe three days, two a week. But then, you know, when if you get a female and a male to mate, and then the male, and then the female will lay a bunch of eggs, bunches of eggs, she'll lay bunches of eggs right there, up, up there, and then, by the way, this is my moth enclosure. I know it's not really big, but I could, like, it's an exoterra nano, I could, like, fit, like, four moths at a time or I could put five I know some people said I should go bigger you know because the bigger the better but... and I still got pupas from the last one right there there's only two but I wonder if... I'm hoping that would be a male and a female but if it's not okay <laughs> I got these guys <laughs> they're so small The darn cup is foggy. They are small, look at them. We gotta keep them in there because they want them to grow. You always keep it upside down, don't put it the other way. You want the poop to go to the bottom like this. And then all you can do is just take the top of the lid down or, and just wipe it off with a paper towel. You don't want the poo to go to the food. You don't want it to make some, they're messed up, the fruit. Here they are, look how little they are. Look at this little guy. Earlier he plopped. <laughs> He's fine now. Hey, are you guys fine? Oh, I love these plastic cups. <laughs> I got another cup like this, but it's all empty. Until these, my, this generation goes to get this big, I'll move them into here, but this is in the meantime. So I got this in the refrigerator so it won't spoil. That's a pretty cute RNA. day. I'm still doing research about their care about care tips and everything.
Right now I'm researching what what do these little guys go through to go to grow. Because after they hatch, they go through two instars. They have to melt two times. This little trash, this little contraption that I made here is so it hangs so enough moths can climb up here or even they fly I just put in the sugar water or honey in that little little dish right there by the way that's how they drink honey and like like really they really when they're outside they drink nectar juice from the from the flowers <laughs> so I put honey in this one and then I put some sugar water in that one there's like medicine droppers little plastic things that I could squeeze 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 <laughs> I love these little bottles and I, I like what I do with these little bugs and stuff make sure to keep this human because if you don't then they will come out all funny looking <laughs> they won't be able to fly or anything I've noticed that so then I keep I keep the pupas in here and then I spray it, spray it like maybe like twice daily with this little spray right here also keep these little guys humidified get a little bit of water and put it in the syringe like this and just put like one drop or two drops in there in the tiny paper towel <laughs>